So we are back from our holidays and just in time to catch the September Nintendo Direct. Now, there's a few people online who aren't so happy with it. We've been heard it referred to as the mid Nintendo Direct, but we wholeheartedly disagree with that statement. Yeah, we've heard a lot of people saying that you'll only like this Direct if you like farming sims and RPGs, but who doesn't love farming sims and RPGs? I mean, we love farming sims and RPGs, so of course we're gonna like it. And sure, you can focus on the four farming sims we did get, but there is so much more than that here. You wanted GameCube remasters? We got those. You wanted rhythm games? There's a few of those as well. You wanted action adventure games? We got some of that too. There is a bit of something for everybody. And Zelda. But anyway, if you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you let us know what you thought of it in the comments below. And let's go over the September Direct. So first up, we had probably the most exciting reveal of the Direct. I know a lot of people are keen for this one. Fire Emblem Engage. What do you think of this one? I thought originally that it was going to be a remaster because I thought that the little grid pattern that comes up during the combat was mm. like... I don't know, I just thought it wasn't quite as like refined as the one in Three Houses, which made me think it was a remake. But I do think that like blue and red is like this game's thing. Well, Switch, right? Oh, true. Yeah, I guess. That's that's the thing. I feel like it's gonna be really lore heavy with the turn of Marth and Krom and stuff yeah. like that. So that's interesting. I hope they don't rely on that too much. I haven't played all the Fire Emblem games, so I hope that it's easy to understand for newcomers to the series. So that's pretty much Nintendo's first game for next year. January 20 is the release date. Yeah. And we will most definitely be getting the special edition. Oh yeah. Oh good. Yeah. We haven't actually discussed that yet, but definitely. that's okay. Yeah, yeah we definitely are. <laughs> Comes with like an art book, art cards, and a steel book. I'm a sucker for steel books, yeah. so. Very cool poster. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Mm. Now we might do an unboxing on the channel. So Make sure you hit subscribe if you want to see that early next year. It Takes Two is finally coming to the Switch on the 4th of November. I feel like it's about time that it came to the Switch. I mean, it was game of the year last year, so it really only was a matter of time, wasn't it? They were going to get it over there. Then we had Fatal Frame come up. Yeah. Fatal Frame, sorry, well, let me check my notes. Fatal Frame, I didn't get the rest of it. Isn't it just Fatal Frame? Yeah, it's Fatal Frame no, something, it, something, something. It is Fatal Frame something mm. else. Anyway, we title. First time it's being released in the West or outside of Japan. So mm. that's cool. Fatal Frame series is meant to be really good. Never played it personally, but there's a horror game for horror fans. See? It looks very exciting. This direct has everything. I was hoping that it was going to come out around Halloween time, but it's actually coming out early next year. All right. Then we had Xenoblade 3 DLC. I mean, this was inevitable. Swimsuits. I think a lot of weebs are going to enjoy that one. You and can take their shirts off. Yeah, I mean, pretty cool. <laughs> the robot chick does look very cool. Yeah, and then there's a new hero with the robot chick, so. SpongeBob Cosmic Shake? Yeah, the Cosmic Shake. I'm actually pretty keen for this. Yeah, I mean, I enjoy, like, uh, Battle of Bikini Bottom, but I just don't know if it really, like, compares to a lot of other games on the market, so yeah. I... Yeah. We did a best 3D platformers on the Switch, and Battle of Bikini Bottom did not make it there. No. But this is a new title, hopefully they've had time to refine it. Similar gameplay elements, so hey, I mean, I'll check it out for sure. Patrick does look super cute <laughs> when Patrick is like a little chibi and he's like following along the behind Spongebob. It reminds me of like Navi from like Zelda, but oh, it's Patrick. Oh, true. He looks super adorable. I do love that. A weird fit boxing game. I have nothing else to say. It's kind of like Ring Fit, but like for boxes. Kind of cool. That's what I wrote. Kind of cool. <laughs> whatever, man. Whatever. Let's stop talking about the freaking boxing game. Let's okay. move on. Let's move on. <laughs> There's this new game called Oddball that's coming out. It's like kind of like, I don't know, overcooked, but like dodgeball. Is it dodgeball? Oh. Yeah, I got dodgeball vibes. Not so yeah, much yeah. overcooked, but. Chaotic party game. Yeah, yeah. So it was kind of giving me those sort of vibes. Yeah, fair enough. Tunic is finally coming out on Switch. People have wanted this for a while. It may look cute and cozy, but don't be fooled because this is Zelda cross a souls like. With foxes. So it's actually brutally hard. Hmm. This was an Xbox exclusive, so now we've got it on a Switch. Yay. Front Mission Games are getting a remake. November 23rd is when the first one's coming out. 
never played them, but mm. I mean, if you like them, one, two, and three are all getting remakes, so. The Story of Seasons remake, A Wonderful Life. So this is the first of those GameCube remakes I was talking about. This is a remake of the GameCube game. It was Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life. Now it's Story of Seasons, A Wonderful Life, because they changed the name there. That thing happened. You're keen, are you? Yeah, yeah, I am oh, pretty keen. Okay. I mean, I wasn't like super obsessed with the last Story of Seasons game. Yeah. And this one looks like it's got more of an emphasis on like having children and stuff, which is never like, I mean, I would get married once I'd done like everything else in the game, mm -hmm. but I actually have never had a kid in the game, except The Sims, but it always got taken off me in The Sims. <laughs> I mean, it's Harvest Moon Story of Seasons, so like- So I'm it's gonna be, be good, yeah. it's gonna be good. Yeah, there's like a new mechanic where like you age. Yeah, that's cool, I yeah. Can, yeah, I can do that. So this is the first of our farming sims as well. I know, bear with us, it's both the GameCube remake and the farming sim. Splatoon 3's first post-launch Splatfest, so the first like non-beta test Splatfest. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, what's the question again? Uh, what would you bring to a deserted island? That's right. Uh, gear, grub, or fun? Yeah. Originally, when I first watched the direct, I said fun, but I didn't really register the question itself. Like, fun is definitely not what I would bring to a deserted island. So, what Terrible are you going? idea. Probably grub or gear, because nah, I could... Yeah, got to choose one here and now. <sighs> quick, quick. Grub. Gear. But when's that starting? The 23rd of September till the 25th. Yeah, so it's only like, like a couple of days. Yep. Uh, we'll probably be streaming some Splatoon 3 in the future, so come check us out on Saturdays. Some kind of gaming at Twitch. Got TV. Ooh. Okay, now this announcement. Ooh. We were pretty excited about this announcement. Oh man, so Octopath Traveler is one of my favorite games on the Switch. The first of the HD 2D like style Team mm -hmm. Asano from Square Enix, Octopath Traveler. <laughs> oh my God. I'm super excited. And it's interesting they've got like the same roles, but yes, new characters. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, they mirror the like jobs. Mm -hmm, same jobs. That, yeah, that the original eight characters had. Yeah, mm -hmm. 100%. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I don't mind that. I think it would have been nice to introduce something yeah. new, do something different. There's but... so many roles out there in the yeah, world. Yeah, exactly. But, I mean, I'll be interested to see what they do with it. It's going to be awesome regardless. I yeah, wonder if the soundtrack's going to be, like, just as epic. Sure. Because the Octopath Traveler soundtrack is, like... Phenomenal. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. And, that, again, that HD 2D engine that they've got over there at Square is just... Like, it looks so... Yeah, it does. I, I cannot wait for this game. And there is actually one more interesting thing about Octopath. They said that the characters actions are going to be different in the day or the night time well i mean i'm grumpy in the morning so my actions are definitely different <laughs> depending on the time of day yeah that is true i hope these games continue to sell everybody get on this so we can get on part three it comes out february 24th i believe <sighs> february's busy oh, man oh man it's that's like four days after hogwarts legacy comes out dude <sighs> why is february it's always february <sighs> hopefully i get some e-shop vouchers for christmas yeah. <laughs> So, um, hey, Dad, if you could give yeah. us a shot about Mum, Dad, Christmas. if you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> the next Farming Sim. Yeah, Farming Sim number two on the list. This is Switch exclusive. Mm. Again, driving home at these kind of games. They just belong on the Switch, you know? It's just, it's a cozy console. It is a cozy console. And this one does actually look super cozy and magical. It's called Fay Farm. I feel that it had like almost Disney-esque art style vibes. Did you get that? The art style. I love the art style, but like what went on with the faces? What went yeah, on with okay. the- Yeah, okay, the faces look a bit weird, but I don't know. I liked it, I enjoyed it. No, the faces, okay. I do love everything out about us about the art style, but the faces are just so lazy. It's like boop, boop, boop. It's just like little <laughs> emoji smiley faces. It's like, come on. Mm. The rest of it is so like, <laughs> I don't know. The faces, like they just aren't, Quite Laura doesn't fitting like in. the faces. Okay. I don't like right. the faces. Right. No. I think we've got that. Yeah. But it's got online and local multiplayer. I think that's the cool thing. That's what separates this from a lot of other farming sims. Mm. Four player online or local co-op multiplayer. Mm -hmm. That one's coming out in spring 2023. Uh, also in February, February 16, we get this Final Fantasy rhythm game to help celebrate its, its 35th anniversary. What's the game actually called? 
It's called Final Fantasy Theatre Rhythm Final Bar Line. I think, anyway. Final Fantasy Rhythm works. Look, I yeah. mean, you know, if you like rhythm games, hey, that's cool. Oh yeah, we got another little look at the Rabid Sparks of Hope game. I feel like we got a little bit more of a look at like the RPG sort of elements of it mm. rather than the combat. It's been very like combat yeah. gameplay. Comes out in like October 20th. Yes. But I'm pretty freaking keen for this. This is probably one of my most hyped games for the rest of the year. So mm. yeah, super keen. I was very excited about the next announcement. I know. Rune Factory 3 special. I love Rune Factory, so I was super excited to see any Rune Factory. Rune Factory 4 was like one of my favorite games for a really long time. And Rune Factory 5, I felt like I loved Rune Factory 5, but it wasn't quite as good as Rune Factory 4. So I'm definitely gonna try Rune Factory 3. It looks like it's being done on the same engine that Rune Factory 4 Special yeah, was done in. It so that's cool, like back to that, almost like top down mm -hmm. view. Yeah. If you like fighting in your farming sims, it is a lot more emphasis on monsters and mm. collecting them. You can turn into a monster in this one. Yeah, so that's, that's pretty cool. There's a new Rune Factory like series or something being created. So at first I was like Rune Factory 6 is in the works. Yeah, right? cool, yeah. that's awesome. Rune that's Factory what I 5 thought. did well enough. But nah, so it's like a new series. So I reckon there's going to be like a spin-off something or other. Oh, okay. Yeah. Either way though, I mean, I'm happy with either of them. Yeah. I agree, Rune Factory 6. So. Yeah. All right, the 64 expansion pass. This is pretty cool. These got quick fired off, so I guess we'll just quick fire them off. Pilot Wings 64, Mario Party 1, 2, and 3, always welcome additions. Mm -hmm. People have been wanting that for a while. Uh, ages. Mm -hmm. Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2, great 64 games. 1080 snowboarding, man. It looks awesome. Oh, you never played it? No, oh, I have Oh, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. I got some nostalgia for that. Really? Okay. Yeah. Excite Bike. 64. Yeah. The people. 64th entry in the Excite Bike series. Really? No. Oh, I was going <laughs> to say, what the? No, dude. And then to the most exciting announcement for the 64. I think the most exciting announcement of the direct for a lot of people to be honest. Oh, probably. And I just and they know that too because they were like, oh, and also let's not forget about this one. We're of course talking about Goldeneye, 007 Goldeneye. So many people's favorite 64 game. And now we can play online multiplayer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's gonna pretty be cool. cool. So this is coming to Game Pass as well. So you can do it if you have an Xbox. Okay. Uh, but. The online multiplayer is a Switch exclusive. Oh, hmm. that's interesting. Yeah, it is. I mean, obviously it didn't have online multiplayer back in the day on the 64, but I think it's a welcome addition. I'm yeah. pretty excited to play some Goldeneye with some oh, random yeah. people. I'm so excited. Yeah. We should play that on stream, maybe. Yeah, maybe, yeah, why not? Why mm -hmm. not? All right, then we got into easily the best named game of all time. Oh my God. I, it, it actually has a really bad name. What is, like, I love Square Enix, but honestly, like, these names, guys. Go on, what's the name? Various Day Life. Yeah, look, that's a bit weird, isn't it? It sounds so mundane. I'm getting Bravely Default vibes here. Mm, yeah. So just, just another RPG. Again, RPG fans obviously going to love this Direct. This mm. one wasn't my most anticipated game in the Direct or anything, no. but it does look really nice. It does look pretty cool. And Square. And it's, yeah, it's Square, so it's going to be yeah, good. Yeah, you know it's going to be at least half decent. Even though it sounds extremely boring. <laughs> Various Day Life. I don't, I don't know, know, dude. You have a bigger problem with other things. I do, I do. I don't. Laura's even, offended by. I don't really remember much about the game because I just remember thinking like, it's the most boring game <laughs> for a game ever. Like this is a challenge. Give me in the comments one game with a more boring name than Various Day Life. I challenge you. I thought this next one looked really cool, actually. Factorio. Yeah, it, does. it actually does look. Yeah, pretty like cool. a management sim. Yeah. No, I know, like. A lot of people are into farming sims and RPGs, also like management sims, but it's not a farming sim. No. It's like a you're on a planet and you've got to like... Rebuild your ship, your spaceship or something. Yeah, like it's all like techie mm. and you've got to like make conveyor belts and stuff. I think it looks really cool. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm pretty keen for it. Not gonna lie. Yeah. It's coming out on October 28th. Oh, the next game I was actually pretty excited for. It's called Ib and it's like this 2D... Oh, oh. That gives various day life a run for its money, just an ib. 
That's Pretty a, boring. No, that's a name though. Okay, okay, it's unique. Okay. It's like the person's name. That's a bit rude. I don't go up to you and say, oh, Tom Boring. <laughs> I know a million of those. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, continue, <laughs> continue. It looks super interesting, especially like I studied um, art history at university. So as soon as I saw it, I was like, ooh, it's very interesting. The character gets like sucked into this painting. And then there's a lot of like drawn, like it looks like, I don't know, some of the levels have been done in like paint or something. But I'm wondering, do you get to like draw your own okay. levels or something? Because they look very like drawed. Uh, Strikers update. Meh. Pauline and Diddy Kong are coming if you're into that. Yeah. We're not super into it. Oh, here's a good one though. Here's one I know we're both excited for. Atelier Riser 3. Yeah. 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 The you Atelier series is extremely underrated. We actually did a video on that as well. So, so go watch underrated. that one. It's one of my favorite franchises. It's like so good. And I was really excited that there's going to be a third one in the Riser series because it is definitely the best series in the Atelier franchise for yep. sure. You've got old characters, you've got new mm -hmm. characters, the art style looks refined, like yep. traversal looks exactly. a bit different. That was one of the best things about Riser was like the way that you can explore the world and stuff. Like yep. you could ride this beast in Atelier Riser 3. It looks like you can ride a dolphin. Yep. You can go like hill sliding. I think she was like flying at some point. Yeah, it's going to be something. far more open and like fully realized. Mm -hmm. So super excited. Yeah. If you like RPGs, you like a little bit of crafting mechanics, get on the Atelier series. That's coming out in February as well. Is it? Uh, oh man. February 24th. That is like the exact day that I'm sure yeah, like another um, one's coming out on. Uh, Octopath 2. Wow. Is it? Wait, no. I, I wish I- Yes, Octopath 2. We should have saved our vacation for February 24th. Oh man. Yeah, maybe we're gonna have to take some time off for that. Jeez, yeah, February. Stacked month for gaming. Absolutely stacked. Oh yeah, there's the uh, Wave 3 Mario Kart DLC coming out in the holiday season. There's two races, race courses that they gave us a look at. Yeah, Merry Mountain from Mario Kart Tour and then Peach Peaches Gardens, Gardens from yeah. the DS. Speaking of DLC, Switch Sports is getting its DLC. It has been delayed until the holidays. It was originally gonna be like now-ish. Fall, yeah. Yeah, now it's, now it's been delayed. Uh, they're adding golf. They're adding some Wii golf holes. Up uh, survival golf. Yeah, I mean, look, it's gonna be pretty fun, but have people already gotten over this game? I mean, I kind of have, so maybe I'll go back and try some golf, but maybe. I've got Mario Golf Super Rush, so do I really need to? Then our old mate, Mr. Miyamoto came on to say hello. Mm. Well, first we've got a release date for the Mario movie. We talked oh, yeah, a little bit right. about Super Mario World coming to the US. And he talked about that little Pikmin game that's been out for a while. Pikmin Bloom, the yep. smart device game. Yeah. I had not actually heard about it at all. Really? I'm surprised that, was it on any previous directs? I, I don't, don't think, think so. so. No. I am going to try it though, to be fair. It looks really good. You're actually really keen for it. I like it. I don't know. I'm going to plant some flowers. Hell yeah. Yeah, fair enough. I'm going to bloom my it. Pikmins. Yeah. Well, I guess, look. If Laura didn't know about it, I'm sure many other people didn't know about it. So mm -hmm. it was smart that they put it in there. It they was. They spent a little bit too much time on it, if you ask me. But well, they hooked me, so. Yep, so they, there you go. They've got one extra player. One extra player. And then, player. of course, the big announcement from Miyamoto was Pikmin, Pikmin 4. 4. We did just get a title screen, though, so it's not, like, yeah. it's not too exciting. We didn't get... Gameplay like or... We actually got, like, nothing. Just an announcement. Well, actually, no, they told us of the perspective. Oh yeah, you can like view it from Pikmin the perspective, perspective of the Pikmins. Yeah, that's pretty cool instead of just the like top down look that yeah. the previous Pikmin games have. And the graphics look really good. Yeah. I mean, it was not gameplay exactly. footage. Exactly, it's not gameplay footage, so. Still though. But we got the announcement, it is coming. Pikmin fans rejoice. <laughs> Dance Dance Revolution. Yeah. That's all I've got to say. Yeah. Not for us. But something that is actually interesting to me. <laughs> more Harvestella. Yes, I knew we were going to get a bit more Harvestella information. 
Square Enix has been pushing this one on Twitter pretty hard. Mm -hmm. And honestly, when it comes to farming sims, okay, this is the last one. This is the last one. Yeah, sadly. When it comes to farming sims, this is the one. Harvestella looks like my dream game. The combat looks super incredible. The enemy design, did you yeah. see those Just enemies? the design, like full stop. I like the anime art style rather I than the like it. cuter, more like yeah. chibi art style that a lot of like farming sims go for. And this one looks like it's got a lot more emphasis on like job systems and characters mm -hmm. and fighting. RPG, and, it's like yeah. really goes into the RPG mm -hmm. aspects. So it's gonna be like the most badass farming sim of all time. Exactly. Super keen for that, we'll definitely be reviewing Super that on the channel, keen. so. Oh my God, there's a demo out now. Oh yeah, you're right. Oh, damn it, too bad I gotta edit this video. I know, I've gotta do so many dishes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And then we got another in-depth, more in-depth look at another game we already know about, Bayonetta 3. Mm -hmm. Action adventure fans, here it is, like the ultimate action adventure yeah. on Switch. Is there a little bit of an astral chain link there? I honestly think that, yeah, they're all signs point to yes. Yeah, I agree. And the first, I think it was the first, the announcement trailer for yeah, Bayonetta the 3. Trailer. Yep. The dog mascot was there. And in this trailer, they were talking about humunculi eyes. We'll be picking up this one as well and we'll be doing an unboxing of the special edition on the channel so stick around for that so there's a new detective game coming out by the creators of Dangan Rampa. am i pronouncing that right Dangan Dangan Romper. yeah yeah this looks pretty cool i mean speaking of astral chain it looks like you know when you're in the the crime scenes it looks like a little bit similar to that it's gonna have some like battles but i'm always down for a murder mystery game i think they're like pretty cool can't wait to not play the Resident Evil games on Switch. So excited. So not excited. Yeah, we, we don't get the Nintendo Cloud down here in Australia, so it's just not happening. I mean, if you can and you have a steady enough internet connection, then uh, good for you, but this is why we have a PlayStation. Yeah, let me know how it goes. <laughs> let me know if it works out for you guys. <laughs> So a port from a PlayStation game that was released earlier this year, Sifu, is coming to the Switch. It's like a Kung Fu action brawler game. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. I know it was like very critically acclaimed on the PlayStation. Sold more than a million units like really fast. That's so, pretty good. Yeah, I mean, good on them. Final Fantasy Crisis Core got a release date, December 8th. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are super keen for this one. And I can only imagine. I understand why it was very well received when it first released. Remasters can do well too. Yeah, I'm sure it will. Oh yeah, there was this like silver gun, is that what it Radiant was Radiant silver gun. Radiant silver up. gun. It's kind of like arcade-ish. It's arcade available game -ish. now, so if you want it, go for it. Another roguelike game called Endless Dungeon is coming out soon. That also looked really cool. Yeah, set in the Endless Universe. Yeah. I mean, roguelikes, they're not really my thing. I liked the art style though. Yeah, it looks really nice. Yeah, it looks really cool. Yeah, I mean, if you're into roguelikes, then this looks yeah, like I it's like a good one. one. The next GameCube remaster remake, no, this one's definitely a remaster, Tales of Symphonia. Yeah, that's right. That one does yeah. look really cool. People have been asking for more Tales remasters and stuff. Mm. So the Switch already has one, Tales of Vesperia. I can vouch for that. It's a really good game. Never played Symphonia, but I don't see why it would be any less good. No. Yeah. If you're an RPG fan or a GameCube fan, get on it. That one is coming out in early 2023. So quarter one, 2023, I would say. Yeah. Hopefully not February. Oh my God. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Maybe March. How about a couple Aprils, Mays? Right, then we had a sizzle reel. I guess we'll just sizzle reel through them. If there's anything you want to say, go for it. Life is strange. A saga game. Romancing saga or something. Lego Brick Tales did stick out to me though. That actually does it really I cool. think that looks freaking awesome. Mm. I don't know exactly what it entails because it was just part of the sizzle reel, but I mean, Lego. Lego games so far have always been like on point for me. Exactly. So I definitely will be checking that one out. That's the winner from the sizzle reel for us, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Disney cart. Yeah. Yeah, it's not called Disney cart. It's no, called... it's called Disney Speedstorm. Yeah. I mean, Goofy. Tom loves Goofy. He doesn't love Goofy. <laughs> I think this one is going to be free, so. Oh, so um, 
microtransactions. Yeah, maybe I'll have to pay for Goofy. I'm not paying for Goofy. Fall Guys Season 2. That's like That was like runner-up for This Is A Real for me. Yeah. I do enjoy Fall Guys. So. Yeah, I like Fall Guys. It's okay. It looks like they're adding a couple of like new yeah. games. So. Sometimes the games get a little bit old in Fall Guys. So. Exactly. So they're adding some new stuff, hopefully. Mm. Yeah, I'm keen for that. That'll yeah. be nice. We'll check that out on stream for sure. Mm. Another Kirby game, uh, Return to Dreamland. So many Kirby games. So Kirby fans games. are having a great time on the Switch. Well, it's his 30th anniversary, so... Yeah, it is. Yeah, good on, good on Nintendo for doing something for that. Yeah, but Dreamland is meant to be one of Kirby's, like, best games. And the last Kirby game, the um kind of, like, Fall Guys Kirby game or whatever... Oh, yeah. It wasn't very good. Nah, it was yeah, kind of a half-baked game, wasn't The it? performance wasn't very good, so... I'm a little bit nervous about them remake, remastering, like, Dreamland because it's meant to be Kirby's best game so if they don't do it justice it is going to be really sad and then they would have just been better off leaving it in the past that's true <sighs> guess what day Kirby's coming out it's in February isn't it yeah it's in February but guess what day like the 24th as well the 24th February 24th February 24th Man, there's not enough time in a single day to even boot up those three games. So what's that? Italia Rise of 3, Octopath and 2, Kirby. and Kirby's Return to Dreamland. Holy Jesus. The 24th, so the 24th of February is like when you want a piece of toast and then okay. you're like, oh, I might have some butter on my toast today. And then you just scoop like a teaspoon of butter and then you just like put it in the middle of the toast and then just eat it like that. <laughs> what? That's what it's like. Why? Because how, the, is that, <laughs> how is that the same? It's exactly the same. Why? Because it's all of the goodness is just in February 24th. It's not spread. The butter <laughs> isn't spread. It's just a blob. Like, I see where you're going from. It's a blob but of games in the center. Nobody wants to eat one blob of butter, but everyone wants to play all the games. Yeah, but like, it would be better if it was spread. Yeah, but. <laughs> yeah, but the games are not good because they're not spread. Butter's, Butter's still good. Oh, uh, you reckon? Well, I mean, like, I haven't personally eaten a stick of butter, but I know that some people do. Mmm, fattening. The main event. All right, Laura, I know you've been excited for this one. The thing that everybody has been waiting for. Mm -hmm, the thing that Laura has been waiting for the most as for well. For my whole life. Breath of the Wild 2 got a release date mm -hmm. and a name yeah and like a little snippet and some more things he got like a spaceship okay. and i don't know if anyone else noticed it but i think i figured out how he makes it all the way up to the islands at the top yeah go on so remember in one of the other trailers how um it, he has like the reverse time thing thing yeah and um it's like a big spiky ball oh. and then he hits it back up so in the trailer, it only lasted for like 0.5 of a second or something, but it looked like something had fallen off the island and then he has taken it and reversed it yep, and then he climbed up. on it. So he mm. went, but we also got a name reveal yeah, the, the name. and it wasn't Gasp of the Deep. <sighs> Shame, isn't it? it Tears is. of the Kingdom. Yeah, Tears yeah. of the Kingdom. I think... Uh, that name's probably the reason why Nintendo UK didn't stream it because you know, the Queen passing away recently. I, some people are going to say it's a little insensitive, but I mean, they had that name locked in way oh, before the Queen died. I don't so. think they've just like come up with that name. Like that happened and they're like, oh, great, a great Zelda idea. game yeah. name. Great name. I don't think that happened. No. I'm very excited. Yeah, talk about hype. This is like the most hype game of probably the entire Switch system. So with Zelda games, the reason why they a lot of the time don't release the names is because the names quite often like allude to some sort of mechanic or something in the game. Definitely. Like pretty much all of them, like Majora's Mask, Minish Cap, like... Ocarina of Time. Exactly. Yeah. So what does this mean? Mmm, what does Tears of the King... Well, I mean, the kingdom's crying, something's happened to Hyrule Kingdom. I mean, the castle is lifted into the sky. 
Yeah, but I reckon it's going to be a, like a mechanic or something. Yeah, okay. And there has been a lot of like water imagery mm. in the previous trailers and things, so. Speculation. We might have to do an entire video on just Zelda speculation. Oh, actually, can we? Yeah. Cool. So that was it. That was the entire September Nintendo Direct. Obviously, well, I guess obviously, we are most hyped for Breath of the Wild 2 which I'm going to have to stop calling it now. Um, Tears of the Kingdom. Tears of the Kingdom. The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. That's what we're most excited for. But also Octopath Traveler 2. Mm -hmm. um, Harvestella. Harvestella for sure. Although we already knew about that, but still mm -hmm. we'll count it. Uh, Rise of 3. Rise of 3. Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem Engage looks awesome it really does i wonder what the blue and red thing's all about mm. it will be entwined in the story there somewhere so there are five there that's, are our, five. that's our five most hyped games look mm. i mean look i'm sure there's something we forgot kirby yeah you're huge on kirby i am yeah so look there's a, basically what we're saying is there's a lot here like surely you can pick out five things that you're hyped for and drop them in the comments below. absolutely that was a great direct yeah. and if you still think that it was a bad direct then i would love to know why yeah. i would love to know why that's obviously that's fine you know not everything's for everyone but no. there was as far as we're concerned there was a little bit of something something for most people mm. I think the issue we have with these directs is that there's too many rumors around. So people went yeah, in expecting Metroid Prime, Trilogy. Twilight Princess. Wind Waker. I gave up on those mm -hmm. like a long time ago. Metroid Prime 4, obviously. Mm. People, Batman games were rumored as well. Just, you can't believe everything you hear on the internet, yeah. guys. And don't get too hyped about it either. Yeah. Yeah, obviously we can like hope, but yeah, I don't know. I think that's why a lot of people were upset because they so. didn't get what they wanted. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And like, okay, we wanted Wind Waker and Twilight Princess too, but I don't know. There's other things that we're just as excited for. Mm. There is something there. You've got to live life with no expectations because then you're less disappointed. Prepare for everything, expect nothing. Is Absolutely. the motto I like to live by. Yeah. But thank you so much for watching. Hopefully we made you maybe realize that there are some good things in this direct. There might still be some bad things. Let us know, as we said before. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked this video and you want to see more Nintendo stuff. And we'll see you next week. We are still working on the game hunting in New Zealand video. So yes. that is still coming, just so you know. This just happened first. And yeah. we could not cover it. We couldn't not. Exactly. <laughs> thank you so much. Love all you all. Bye. Bye. See you soon. Oh, look, I got the pimple right here. Where? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs>